The first of our awards for the evening is the Council of the Year. To present this award, please welcome the Diversity Solutions Leader at Aon, who is also the Chair of the Affiliate Board Chairs Committee and a member of the Board of Directors of NMSDC, Mr. Shelley Brown. Good evening. I'm honored to be here today to announce the winner of the Council of the Year for 2019. This award recognizes an exemplary affiliate council demonstrating the programs, activities, and accomplishments that establish it as a model of organization, operation, and success. Each affiliate council reviewed for image, accomplishments, activities, and leadership over the previous calendar year. The winner of the 2019 award is, I got an envelope, hold on just a second. Council of the Year, Western Regional Minority Supplier Development Council, Mr. Cecil Plummer, President. Before Cecil accepts this award, let's watch a brief video about the Western Region Minority Supplier Development Council and its accomplishments. WRMSDC's accomplishments in 2018, I think there were several that were noteworthy. First is our outreach to mainstream media. Both the San Francisco Business Times and our local CBS affiliate partnered with us to bring supplier diversity specific content to the masses. In fact, for the first time in its history, the San Francisco Business Times printed the top companies for supplier diversity. We really like to see that happen. The next accomplishment is our Business Growth Accelerator Program. We graduated our second cohort in 2018, and that's really what our work is, is growing MBE businesses, and we know for a fact that many graduates are now doing business with sponsoring corporations. The way we measure that is the revenue. We know that, and in 2018, we had 41 MBEs move up a class in revenue. Now that's really exciting, and that really gets our blood pumping. How do we do that? Another landmark is that we had 20 new corporations join with our council this year in sponsoring events and meeting our MBEs. Of those 20, eight became members, and of those eight, six, this is really exciting, six were starting supplier diversity initiatives for the first time in the history of their organizations. How's that for a number? Now, what does that all mean? Well, in 2017, we had collective MBE revenues of $13.1 billion. In 2018, collective MBE revenues were $15.3 billion. And our MBE net growth was only 10 for that year. That means basically the same number of MBEs experienced a growth of $2.2 billion in revenue. And we think those are things worth celebrating. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, to accept the award on behalf of the Western Region Minority Supplier Development Council, uh, Cecil Plummer and his team. Give them a hand, please. I can't see anything anymore, so I have to use these. Uh, thank you, NMSDC. Thank you, Shelley. Receiving this award, is both humbling and unexpected. All of the regional councils work very hard, and this honor could have easily gone to any of them. I feel very blessed to be counted in such excellent company. I want to give my thanks to NMSDC. I thank my God. I feel so blessed for my staff. My staff is the greatest staff. I feel so blessed for them, yes. I feel blessed by the support of our board, and the support of all of our corporates and our MBEs for their patience and trust as we transformed our council over the last few years. Supplier inclusion and belonging is the best opportunity in this country to resolve historical disparities. NMSDC is uniquely positioned, better than any other organization in the country, to facilitate the necessary changes. 
I urge our corporations, we thank you for your support, and I urge your continued steadfast support of NMSDC. Please continue to make room in your uh, supply chains for MBEs. I urge MBEs to continue to invest in themselves through the programming that NMSDC offers. Just like corporations outperform the S&P 500 through learning and development, so can you outperform your competition. I urge you all to support your councils and their staff. They work tirelessly to create wealth for others, and they need the right tools, and they should have the ability to retire with dignity for a lifetime of serving others. Finally, there are a few times in life where there's a real win-win for corporations and for the communities. There's too much at stake to let supplier diversity die now. We've got to keep it going. Future generations are at stake, future talent pools for employees, innovation, diversity, and diversity of thought are clear pathways to profitability. Oh, I'm getting the hook. Thank you so much for this honor. We'll see you tomorrow at the show.